that's a concert for you. Long lines, delays, and cancellations have forced people to wait in the airport here in Salt Lake City for hours today. However, some waiting decided to play the piano to try and cheer everyone up. Every time he finished performing, we like clapped for him. And everyone around was like very involved. It was a cool like kind of like like a uniting moment for everyone. It's like I'm sure people were frustrated by uh, getting delayed like on the holiday. Very cool there. Everyone did need some cheering up because as you can see from the flight aware map, it's called the misery map. There has been more issues today at Salt Lake International. Miserable people in a miserable place at a miserable time of year. Fox 13's Aaron Cox joins us live from outside the airport, but she was just inside spending time with passengers. Aaron, what is going through their mind tonight? That's right, Adam and Kelly. Well, just to give you a look at what they're enduring inside the airport, there have been 35 cancellations and 328 delays, and that is just today's numbers from Flight Aware. But passengers tell me they've had a little bit of fun passing the time. Many sitting in the airport. No! Oh, shoot, I should have given you a different card. Are playing the waiting game. We had a canceled flight yesterday that got delayed twice. So we had to spend the night again in Deer Valley. 13-year-old Yoni Shavasky <laughs> and his family spent Christmas here in Utah. Their JetBlue flight was canceled and they've been trying to fly home back east ever since yesterday. We thought maybe an hour delay or something, not canceled. So we were, yeah, pretty shocked. You get pretty bored and hot and you just want to be back home. Leo and Claudia Andrade's Delta flight was delayed eight hours out of Montana. It wasn't because of the weather that our flight got delayed at four in the morning. Yeah. I guess that the plane coming in with the crew had just gotten there at four and they legally can't like fly another plane. Mm -hmm. So then what did he call it? He called it a crew rest crew period. Rest. There was a yeah. mandatory crew rest. So we had to wait for the crew to essentially go and sleep before they could come back and send out yeah. this other one. They missed their connecting flight here in Salt Lake City and are hoping their new flight leaving for California won't be delayed. We can knock <laughs> on some wood or something. Will Pollock and his dad are hoping their three hour flight delay with United Airlines won't be canceled. Not too stressful because we don't really need to be back like for a certain time, but just kind of annoying having to wait. All playing the waiting game and hoping to get home soon. It's been fun. I mean, I've been winning a lot. Now, according to Flight Aware, SkyWest has canceled 146 of their flights and Delta has canceled 130 of those flights. Excuse me. Those are delayed numbers, not cancellations. So delayed 146 for SkyWest and 130 for Delta. Live from the Salt Lake City International Airport, Aaron Cox, Fox 13 News, Utah.